UT Southwestern is now involved in the clinical trial involving the most important protein in kidney cancers. This is the HIF2 transcription factor. This story really starts with Steve McKnight, who's a professor at UT Southwestern. Steve identified and characterized a protein uh, called EPAS, or HIF2-alpha. one thinks of a, of a tumor as this rapidly growing mass of cells that often grows faster than new blood vessels can deliver nutrients and oxygen to those cells. Maybe we can find Achilles heels for those diseases. It turns out HIF2 has a particular liability that we were able to uncover. Rick identified what looked like a place where a small molecule, something that we normally think of as a, an oral medication, might be accommodated by this protein. Peloton licensed that insight. So over a period of about three years, we went through thousands of compounds trying to refine the properties of the molecule. When I learned that the scans revealed that I had kidney cancer, that was a really, really scary part of my life. You feel your mortality. You just come to the realization that you have to move forward. I met Richard in 2009, and at that point, he started receiving treatment under my care. I don't just do this fight for myself, I do it for them. When my daughters grow up and they ask for advice, I want to be the guy that they ask. Like, I love to hear the word, Daddy. Richard was at a point where he was running out of options. He had received every drug approved by the FDA for kidney cancer. We have had several hundred patients who have donated their tumor after surgery, and we have taken those samples and implanted them into mice. We have created, possibly, the largest platform of tumor graft mice with kidney cancer. We have implanted over 700 patient tumors into the mice. Tumors in the mice are more similar to the tumors in the patient that they come from than to any other tumor. And those that grow, we are able to perform drug trials on. Out of the 20 lines that we tested with the HIF2 inhibitor, about 50% of them showed great response, and Richard's line was one of them. From the time that this protein was first discovered or identified until today, you know, that's over a decade worth of work, and hundreds and hundreds of people have contributed building that scientific knowledge base that has led us to the point where we can actually test these hypotheses in humans. The scientists at Peloton designed a clinical trial that they opened at seven sites across the United States, including UT Southwestern. This is a first in human study. Our goal is, is to get, is this drug safe? And can we move it uh, into the next phase of development so we can really test how efficacious the drug is? And Richard is the first patient in Texas to receive this medication. This clinical trial does allow me to be proactive. I'm not going to sit on the sidelines. I want to be a part of the solution. The first set of scans that we did at six weeks showed that a metastasis that he had in the liver had gotten smaller. I was very encouraged by these results. The hope is that it will control Richard's cancer for many months and bridge him to the next drug that becomes approved for kidney cancer. 
I am hopeful that I can live to be a grandfather someday, live to be an old man. We have a huge impact on, right now, a small number of patients. In the future, could potentially be a very large number of patients. I truly believe that if I had not come to UT Southwestern, I would not be here. When I was first diagnosed, I had a 10% chance to live five years. I'm going on seven years now. It's an incredible journey taking place at UT Southwestern. There are few institutions where the complete journey from gene discovery to the development of a drug is achieved, and UT Southwestern is one of them.